Hello, I am Eric Lawler for Joe, and I'm here in the streets of Dublin because we are about to speak to one of the finest comedians on the comedy circuit anywhere, the legendary Jason Manfred. Well, you're, you're over here um, because you have a big connection with Ireland, uh, yeah, through yeah. your family, mm. and also you're, you're going to be performing at the Cat Laughs in Kilkenny on the Gym Bank all the weekend. Yeah. And you're back on the road with a new tour yeah. in the autumn when you're coming back to Dublin. And are you doing anywhere else in Ireland? I'm doing Cork and Limerick uh, and Galway, and we're up to Derry and Belfast. Oh, wow, so, cool. yeah, we're so all a over. Proper yeah. Irish tour. Proper Irish tour. Excellent yeah. stuff, excellent stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's muddle class, not Muddle right? class, not a misspelling. Yeah, it's muddle, class. muddle class. Yeah. Can, you, can you give us a little bit of a little, what's that it all about? It is about, well, it's sort of about just where my life's led, I guess, where I was. You know, I'm from a very working class background, as you probably guessed from my accent. And, yeah. uh, and my parents, you know, my mum's NHS nurse, my dad's a janitor. And then because I sort of won the showbiz lottery by being one of the comics who sort of was able to uh, elevate from doing bits of TV, it's meant that my kids, my eldest are only eight, they've only really known the good life. All right. So my kids are a bit middle class and it's quite hard raising kids who are posher than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's what the show's about, really. It's okay. A, a bit about that. And so it's a bit of identity. Yeah, thing, yeah, it's a bit of trying to find yourself, yeah. you know, and, and just the fact that there's always a constant struggle between, like, who you should be and who you are, you know, and and and, and, and it seems to be people are identifying with that, which is good. Like, and, and because that. you've now come into this new life, this new middle class life, right? Well, I, I'm not middle class. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, right, your family has, Whoa. right? And you want to try and, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Uh, Teach your, your your kids about what it used to be like. Yes, you know, yeah, we, yeah. Used, to, we used to go to school on our bare feet and all exactly, that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And and do you bring the kids back to your roots? Do you bring them back to Stockport? Do you know Manchester? what I did once? I've not. I've never told anyone this. I actually drove them where I went to college in Moss Side. Moss Side. Yeah, yeah. You went to college in Moss Side. Yeah, I did. Yeah. This is hardcore, man. I know, right? Hardcore. I know. I certainly didn't wear this shirt back then. Dangerous minds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I drove them. I said, "Hey, but I, and I didn't. I didn't actually tell them where we were going. We were just nearby, and I thought I'll take a detour. And as we go past, I'll say that's where Daddy went to uh, to college. Um, up to my primary school, my kids locked the door in the back, and I went, "What's going?" She went, "Just looks a bit rough around here." <laughs> I just a clunk. <laughs> well, yeah, well, okay, yeah. so yeah, they, are, they, they, they truly do not know the walking no, class life. No, they've never, they've never known it. So, and that's sort of what the show's about is, like, cause my brother's a plumber, you know, he, and he actually looks down at his nose at me, because what I do is not a proper job, you know, oh, in his world. Of course, so yeah. I get a lot of that. Um, but it's just about identity, really, and, and, and class where, you know, everything's about class all over the world. So it, it's about what, where you see yourself and whether you aspire to be something else or so it's about that. So what, what's been nice is how many people have got in touch afterwards just to say, oh, it's nice to hear someone talk about that. It's not really something anyone does talk anyone about. Anyone else is talking yeah, about it, yeah. So yeah. And they fun. identify with a lot of it. Yeah. But that's, yeah. That's, I think that's the, 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 the beauty of what you do, Jason. That, mm. I, I, mean, I mean, I've seen you many Thanks. times and... Uh, and like I'm not blowing smoke up the man's ass, but he is top quality, and I love. I, I walk out with Jason Manfred gig always with a big smile on my face. Oh, that's and good. that's like genuinely yeah, like that's, that's, a, that's a, and that's a, an incredible gift that you have. That you do, like, and I don't mean to, 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 to pigeonhole you, but you do talk <laughs> about mundane everyday yeah, things yeah, yeah. that loads of people can identify you with. I think I just think you know it's like I've just some interviews this morning. There were a couple of them were like, and are you talking about Brexit in your uh, in your show? And I'm like, no, mate, no, I am not because. I just think nobody goes out for a good think. No, you know no, yeah, no yeah, one's yeah, like, yeah. Hey, what are we doing Friday? We're just going into town for a think. <laughs> you know do you know what I need so, right now? Yeah, a exactly. good think. That's what so I need. So I just think, you know, my, my deal with the audience is I always say, to, I start every night, I say, look, I know you're stressed, I know you've got stuff going on. I can see people like tense, you know, worried faces. Where's the cars, the babysitter, all right, work and problems and life and parents getting older and kids are being arseholes and all the different things going on. And I just sort of say to them, look, just for the next two hours, let's just make an agreement. We're going to just leave all that outside and in here, in these four magical walls, we're just going to have a laugh. Brilliant. And, and, and it really does sort of people go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's somebody yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a release the pressure of Well, arms. you deserve yeah. it. You know, you des you know <coughs> anyone watching, but you deserve a couple of hours to yourself just to have a bit of a laugh and a bit of a and just not worry about anything else because well particularly as you say you. particularly you know. as you, like everyday people with kids and they're organizing babysitters and taxis into oh, town and the, the price of the tickets and stressful. having the drinks and yeah it is yeah. so you want to be able to switch over those two hours and have absolutely. a good time absolutely and i know so, you know when they when they get there i know for a fact there's audience members who at four o'clock that afternoon have gone oh is that tonight yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got too much on. I've got, you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so you sort of have to do, you know, make sure that they're, because that's what it's about. It's about 
them. You know, it's about people coming along and having a laugh. That's what you've promised them. Absolutely. You know? Um, so just just to, uh, to to go back to your connection, to what is your can, can you explain to the, the audience that'll be watching the millions of Joe followers who'll yes, be watching this course, video? Yes, of course. Yeah, and uh, you, you've got a, you've got Irish blood. Yeah, yeah. So my gran is uh, from Dublin originally. Uh, well, my grand and, and my granddad. So they came over oh, to which, Manchester which in the fifties on my mum's side. On mum's side. Uh, they came over in the fifties, and uh, they were in a little folk duo, a little folk band. And they, and then they just exploded. They went huge in the seventies. My grand, uh, I think she was on New Faces. Or no one way. Of those. Yeah, yeah. And they did. And then a whole, a whole band just sort of started. A, a big. She had eleven kids. Taught them all to play instruments and harmonise. And and then they were this big show band. Wow. And uh, and that's what we did every weekend. Just went and watched that, my nana singing in a band. That, really. That it was great. Loved it. And do, do you know what part of Dublin? Uh, yes, uh, Temple Oak. Temple Oak, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's quite affluent. So, yeah, I know yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's yeah, all right, yeah. actually. I yeah. thought you were going to say the main street of Bingham. Well, I've got to say, that is where they are now, my, my, <laughs> my, uh, my auntie. I couldn't tell you exactly where they were back in the day. <laughs> But yeah, it was pretty, and I think when she came over, I don't think it was like with everybody's blessing. <laughs> yeah, all right, I okay. don't think it was like, off you go then, yeah. uh, uh, unmarried uh, to Britain. <laughs> Here's a shotgun. <laughs> to be in a band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, so she worked incredibly hard. So yeah, there's was, there was a lot of that. But yeah, every time I come over, the, the, some, the, some TV researcher has found an extra bit. There was, last time I was over, they were sort of saying, oh, we did some digging and actually your great granddad was uh, one of De Valera's right hand men in the Whoa. GPO. Yeah, it was right, really. And I was like, crikey, I better look into this. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Thomas Ryan and it was, he's right there, he signed the We need to get everything. Jason on that TV show, Who Do You Think You Are? Yeah, you know exactly, the one where yeah. they go into the history and all that? He could be an yeah. Irish hero for all we know. Hey, you know. <laughs> all we know. And, and you, like when you come, you've, you've been a regular visitor. Yeah, yeah, I love it, Jason, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, so you so you do Vicar Street and all that. Do you do you get a lot of requests from family over here? And oh my God! I mean, every time <laughs> it's not so bad when it's my own show because yeah. I'm sort of in charge. But yeah. I came over to do the um, board gash. Oh, the producers. Was oh, that that? Yeah, you did. Brilliant. Yeah. And then I came over with Chitty, uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I did that as well. And they're not my tickets. So that's not my show, you know. And you get uh, you know you get some cousin ringing up. Jason, uh, forty eight tickets. I'm like. It's not my show, mate. I was just, I was just 46 then. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I, that's always, uh, yeah, that can always be fun. And it'd be like someone that you've met three times as well at like a. At I, a was at, I was at your, you know, <laughs> your grand's funeral. I don't remember. So we're buzzing buddies for life now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot. Of, but actually, I must say that the good thing about it is that there's always something to do and someone to see, and there's always a good home cooked meal, like yeah, any, yeah. any one of your cousins or you know aunties or whatever. So yeah, brilliant. Um, and you, you touched on it just there with the uh, with the producers and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I saw mm. the producers on it. Yeah, listen, yeah. Thanks, uh, like again, touch on magnificent. Yeah, like, you I mean, sent what me a message. Voice. It was what nice a voice. Of you. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Ross Nova was on as oh, well, and great, uh, Ross yeah. was brilliant. But um, you know, he got, he got gout after that. After that two weeks in, uh, did he really? <laughs> yeah, because um, this, is, this is breaking news. I know again. because uh, we did a chicken wings challenge, where I said they make the best chicken wings in the world here in Dublin. I said, but you, it's hard to find which one is it, Elephant and Castle, oh, yeah. is it uh, Canal Bank? Which, so every day we were here for three weeks. We had chicken wings twice a day. We had it for for research dinner purposes. And for tea, yeah. <laughs> and after two and a half weeks, you had to go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you got gout, you're not, you're not got a varied diet. Oh my God. You're just eating chicken wings and blue cheese dip. Flipping hell. <laughs> Ross Norville got gout in Dublin. Yeah. That should be the next aim of the show. Doesn't it, um, um, So, but yeah, just on, I, mean, I remember like, uh, what was the, 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 the talent show, the uh, Shine, what was the Shine? Let it oh, shine. Born, Born to Born Shine. Born to Shine, yes. And you came out and blew everyone away. Did, were you always yeah. a singer though? Like, I, mean, I could always sing. Right, Because like, okay. obviously the family sang and, yeah, it, and yeah. so I was always in the band and, and singing it. And then so it wasn't I, a case when like, they went, hey, we're going to try and make yeah, you a singer. Yeah, it wasn't like Susan. Wow. Yeah, 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 but yeah, it was yeah. to everyone else. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I guess what with that one, they did say, because they, they got in touch and said, will you come and sing? And I said, yeah, all right. But I knew I could already sing, so I thought it'd be fine. Then they, when I turned up, they went, it's opera. Whoa. And I was like, okay, well, that's I can't do that. And they, and uh, I did sing this uh, um, Pavarotti uh, song, uh, Brindisi, which you, you'll know. It's like it's the it's um, the only one I know is Nessun Dorma. Well, you think? Yeah, I thought the same. But yeah. actually, when you hear the t the tune, it goes um, Libiamo, Libiamo, nelle Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I do know, I do know. And I, I did know. that, and I loved it. It was yeah. great. And then off the back of that, I thought, right. Someone's gonna ring, and no one rang. I thought, I was like, Dean Gaffney's just been in Chicago. You're telling me, you're telling me I can't even get a phone call. And um, and so then uh, I waited for a while, and then I eventually saw just an opportunity to audition for for a part in Sweeney Todd in the West End. Right. The guy playing the part of Pirelli was 
leaving just for five weeks over the summer. Was he tired? <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go and see Eric, everyone. <laughs> Kill Kenny Festival, um, and uh, and he uh, he was leaving for five weeks, and um, and so I just auditioned to to cover him over the. It was while the Olympics were on in London. Okay. And I covered for it, and I loved it, and uh, you know I was in this like pokey little dressing room. I think it ended up costing me about two grand to be in it. Right. Because I don't live in London, so I had to put ah, myself right, up in okay. that. But off the back of that, I thought I'd love to do some more of that, and that's when the producers and what an experience and that, that was. Oh, loved that was it. Amazing, it yeah. yeah. And is that something you'd like to do again? Something else you'd like to do? Is yes. there, is there, you know, there's so many great musicals out yeah, there. Is there a particular course. music you'd love to do? I guess so, you know, being in a proper one. That, what's been nice is I've only done proper ones. It's yeah, not of course. Been just like, yeah. It's not been just like, oh, right, that's, that thing was on the telly, and then we should make yeah, that. Yeah. It's been, you know, the. You know, classics. Well, yeah, and also just get into it like Mel Brooks, people like that to sort of go. Wow, yeah. You know, you're you're doing his jokes, and he's saying, "Why don't you try like this?" You know, and you got like to meet him. Oh yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Here, now come here, let's talk about oh, that. Oh yeah, he's got <laughs> yeah, well, Mel he's, Brooks. He's got a percentage in his. Uh, yeah, yeah. In his, so uh, it's his baby, and he's, he's absolutely he's all across it, yeah, and he's he's very um, um, what, and rightly so, you know, he's very yeah. protective of it. So he um, he was very nice actually. He did say he said to me. Uh, you uh, you're doing your own jokes yet? I was like, no, not at all, Mel. Well, I don't call him Mel. I call him Mr. Brooks. I said, of course not, Mr. Brooks. I, I'm doing your jokes. And he went, he went, you will. I went, honestly, I won't. We've only been doing it for about two weeks. He went, you will. I went, oh, really, we won't. He said, my only bit of advice. He said, I work with comedians all the time. He says, he said, do do it. Add a joke. Add lib. Fine. He said, do it once. Doesn't get a laugh. Do it twice. Doesn't get a laugh. Do it three times. Doesn't get a laugh. Please. Stop doing it. <laughs> That's his advice. Well, I'll take yeah, that. The classic rule of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And then I don't know, maybe like a like a lay miss or something would be pretty. Oh, yeah. I'd love to do something like that. Yeah. Something. It's nice when you're doing something where there's something other than laughs in a way because you know you can sort of get them. Mm -hmm. And that's when, it, like, when Ross Noble. I mean, he did producers, but he went and did Young Frankenstein, and um, and I've seen other comics in stuff. And and it's when you don't play it for the the, the laughs. Yeah, actually, yeah. You, it's a different it, reaction. It's, it's just great. It's a great yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, so that's that's just another facet of your your, your multi-talented career. Oh, um, <laughs> but, but also you're an, an award-winning presenter. Like the, the 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 absolute radio show is oh on the Sunday is, yeah. is absolute gold. Loved it. And yeah. it's, uh, it's how long has that gone now? We've been doing it for three years now. Three years. Yeah. And it's it's won awards and I love it. And you love it. Do you? And it's just it's just once a week. Just do Sunday morning, yeah. eight to eleven, and I just get whoever's nearby. <laughs> Whoever com uh, if there's a comedian played yeah. in a you know the so you're checking the list is going who's in town next pretty week pretty much yeah, yeah. so and, that, and what's nice is that the, I'm able to do it from anywhere of course so we've done it we've done it from here we did it, when I was over here with Chitty we did it here I did it with Phil Jupiter's and we got Aidan Bishop in and he came oh, and yeah, did yeah. a bit and um, uh, oh you mad Irish girl what's she called Eleanor Tiernan Eleanor Tiernan's done Neve it Maron, Neve Maron you did Neve Maron yeah, that was yeah, it yeah, yeah we've had yeah. Eleanor but yeah Neve, Neve came and did it I'll have to do with Jason won't I absolutely yeah, that's come a on verbal in. contract yeah. right there come on I have to do it as well anytime you fancy yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah it's really fun and, and I just sort of rock up and just chat about the week and, and, and the news and we had Bill Bailey on last week and we've had Peter Kay and we've had some big names but Brilliant. it's also nice just having you know comics off the circuit and yeah, all yeah, it yeah. really good fun yeah. and 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 we'll probably let you go Jason mm. um, uh, obviously the cat laughs is coming up now and you've done the cat laughs before I have in Kilkenny did you yeah, yeah. yeah um, from what I can remember yeah <laughs> that's what I was going to say yeah. <laughs> you, you remember it so <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think one, one of the things I like about it is is getting to work with the bigger names yeah and, uh, it's fun and, um, but also the fact that you're only doing a little 20 minutes. Yeah, That's the great thing. Isn't that the beauty, isn't it? There's no pressure because <laughs> yeah. you think 20 minutes, I can do 20 minutes because I'm on tour doing two hours, so I yeah. just need to get find 20 minutes that can work in, in one go. But you just get to like see other brilliant comics, you know, and, and I love, you know, obviously David O. Doherty. Doherty, yeah. Doherty. yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Jason Byrne, Ashlyn B, and all, all, you know, yourself, yeah. you know, and just sort of get people over um, and actually see some comedy. Because yeah, when yeah. you're on tour by yourself, it's quite a lonely job. It is, isn't it? So the, I, I, when I see it in the diary, I think, oh, I'll look forward to that. That's going to be good fun. So yeah, I'm there, there obviously, the, the June Bank holiday, and then back in September for all those other dates. Well, loads of dates yeah. around Ireland. So check Jason Come Manfred's on. website out and find out where he's playing and how much, and just go and see him. He's absolutely brilliant. Come along. Jason Manfred, you're a gentleman. Thanks, Thanks very much. Eric. Cheers, Cheers man. man.